people Shonda with Lather and More. Welcome back to my channel and today I am actually doing the bubble bath frosting for my brown sugar and key lime um, bath bomb cupcakes. And I've already measured out my dry ingredients here. Uh, it's your basic kind of bath bomb recipe, which would include the baking soda, the arrowroot powder, the citric acid, um, and buttermilk powder. And I, um, I have also um, melted down my wet ingredients <coughs> here which is just cocoa butter, shea, <coughs> excuse me, cocoa butter, shea butter, and let me see here. No, that's about it. Cocoa butter, shea butter. I have included my fragrance oil, which is a blend of the key lime tart from Brown Mulberry and the brown sugar fig uh, fragrance oil from Wholesale Supplies Plus, and it smells yummy. Okay, so I've already done my bath bombs. This is a two-day process, so I have already made my bath bombs, and they're going to be in this pretty little polka dot and green uh, cupcake um, molds. And basically, we're just going to go ahead and kind of watch me as I uh, make my bubble frosting. Key is with the bubble frosting so that it is a pipeable consistency. You want to make sure that your oils are at least at room temperature because what I have noticed um, is that if they're not then your frosting it, it's going to be very runny and we don't really want a runny frosting um, you can still pipe with it but you're not going to get the desired effect uh, in my opinion so the texture that we're really going for, it's kind of like a dough con te um, a dough texture. And I'm just slowly adding my oils because I don't want to overly saturate the, the dry mixture. I want to be able to have the perfect consistency. And when you add little by little, you kind of control how it is that you, uh, your final product as far as your um, bubble dough. <laughs> bubble dough. Ah! Bubble frosting is. Alright, so as you can see, it is thick and that's fine. Um, I haven't even added the rest of my oil, so again, little by little and incorporate. You don't want it too loose. You want to be able to pipe this with no problem and you want to be able to pipe it with any piping tip that you use. Uh, a bigger piping tip is uh, recommended and I believe the piping tip that I'm using today is a Wilton tip and I I think it is a good question. I'll have to put that in the description for you guys because I cannot see it. Um, but it's it's not a t piping tip that has, you know, frillies and stuff like that. It's a really basic piping tip. I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of my oils in here and mix. Again, this is going to be thick. And when I tell you, it sets up beautifully. And um, I haven't had a problem with the frosting as of yet. Um, and you can see now the more you mix of course it's going to get thicker and that's what you want you don't want a really loose bubble frosting because it won't pipe how you really want the effect to be and as you can see it's kind of hard to stir which is good because again you want a pipeable frosting Whew. I'm telling you, I'm going to get buff in one, one arm, my left arm. Alright, this is going to be a cream colored frosting. Um, the key lime tart does this color, but I put a very minimum amount of it in here. So, 
I don't think it's going to discolor that much. And then, of course, the brown sugar frig has vanillin in it as well. But, again, I don't think that it's going to discolor that much. There's no titanium dioxide in here at all. And uh, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and put this in my piping bag and get ready to pipe. So I will pause you guys and we'll be right back to pipe. All right, everyone, and we are back. Our piping has set up and it is hard to kind of pipe, you guys. Um, this does involve some form of elbow grease to get it out of the piping bag. But your desired effect, absolutely yummy piping consistency. Um, that one's a little plop plop, but um, this is the consistency that you want. You want to be able to pipe, even if you want it a higher piping um, peak, you can obtain it when your bubble frosting um, has set up correctly. In which you see now, I am able to pipe um, the consistency that I like. I'm very happy with these, uh, you guys. Um, how they are coming out. I am not a piping expert at all, but I do what I can. I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of my frosting to the bag here. And um, I don't know <laughs> if you can see it, but it's. Um, it's not going anywhere and that's what you want with a <sighs> bubble frosting and it's getting harder as we go but that's okay I'm still going to be able to pipe it and with that being said you're going to go ahead and stick this in the refrigerator I don't know for maybe about since mine is already kind of hardening, I probably will only stick it in there for about 30 minutes and then it will be completely hardened and ready to package. Alright, so again we have our frosting in our bag and I'm going to scoot these over because these are done. And going to bring these other ones to the front that I need to do here. And I'm going to embellish, mm, excuse me, embellish these, uh, you guys, with um, embeds and um, the little pearls that I like to put on here. Sorry, you guys, I'm trying to position the camera so that you guys see everything. All right. So, again, we're going to continue. And I made that little, um, that little plop in the middle because I don't want the middle to fall on me as I go around with my piping. I, I don't want it to cave in is what I'm trying to say. All right. Ooh, that looks yummy. <laughs> and it smells so good, you guys. Like, I often experiment with different scents, and I like to pair them very well together. And I think that these two really do pair well um, together. And I have extra bath frosting left over. Trying to see if I want to go ahead and go around one more time um, just to make these even more yummier looking. On the ones that's kind of low, I am going to go ahead and go back over and pipe. I just
just put this in here because, hey, I don't like to waste and that's just like a solid bubble bath. Okay, so now that we have these um, piped, we're going to go ahead and put the, the beads on and I got some really cute lime melt and pour in beds to go on it as well. Okay, and they look like this. Nothing too fancy, you guys. But they are going to kind of go on the side right here. And I don't know if you guys can see it too well. But I think it looks pretty like that. Um, and again, this is setting up really nicely. It's, it's hard. Um, you want to make sure that your embeds are in there good enough um, so that they won't just come out so easily. And how these work, you guys, this is like a, the bubble frosting is actually like a bubble bar, okay? It's like a bubble bar, and so it's easily to remove from the bath bomb. So basically, you're going to go ahead and uh, remove the top piece and drop your bath bomb in. And then you're going to go ahead and use your bubble bar. And that's pretty much it. And okay, so our limes are in, you guys. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and put a lime right there just because. Oh, and this is the leftover bath bomb that I had uh, from the other batch. It will go to my daughter, of course, because she loves extras. Okay, so um, I have these little green um, sugar pearls that I'm going to add on just to give it a little bit more visual appeal. because she makes sure that I am on top of it and she was like Mama, she missed one I missed one okay so I have my little glitter and my little shark salt shaker 
and I'm just going to, I'm not going to over glitter these because um, I want them to stay as if they are like a true dessert. Just very minimal glitter and you guys know I love glitter so I won't overdo it with these. Okay. And there you have it you guys. Um, let me let me focus. Alright, and these are the brown sugar and key lime bath bomb cupcakes. I will check you guys later. Until next time, which will be a soap video. Until then, you guys, love, peace, and hair grease. Bye. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's LaShonda again with Other and More, and I wanted to go ahead and show you guys how I um, package my um, bath bomb cupcakes, and I've already labeled them, so you guys won't see it, the labeling in this video. I'll put up another video for labeling, but um, as you can see, the bubble frosting is extremely hard. And it hardened in about 30 minutes. That's why I have added to the um, frosting video. I figured since I'm going to go ahead and package these up anyway, I might as well just do the video on it. So these are 4x6 um, shrink bags and they are the smell through shrink bags so my customers will still be able to smell the product um, but it will be well protected so um, in the event if I'm doing like a market I my customers can pick the cupcakes up and they can smell them and they're still protected it's, it's a sanitary issue you guys I just I just don't feel that um, when it comes to bath products, I, I just don't think that it's it's okay for people to kind of handle the product with their hands and then, you know, someone else might buy it. So for me, it's just a sanitation issue where I like to protect the product. And so who, whatever customer that purchases it knows that you know no one has touched the product um, and I'm using a heat sealing um, device it's I don't know the make of this but I got it off Amazon it makes wrapping and shrink wrapping very very easy for me because I can seal it and then all I have to do is just go ahead and um, use my heat gun to shrink wrap it and I do use larger bags for larger um, products these are just average size cupcake um, bath bombs but I do make larger items as well it depends on what my customers requests are I get a lot of custom requests for different size um, cupcake bath bombs different um, embeds that they would like, just a lot of custom orders. Um, a lot of them come from like my wholesale accounts too, where um, it, it might even be that it's a corporate event coming up and they want a specific type of bath product to give to their employees to show appreciation and I accommodate Whatever's your vision, I will go ahead and do my best to try and make your vision come alive. And that's one of the things that I enjoy about um, making bath and body products and especially custom products because it allows the customer to get something that is very unique and no one else will have it. Um, this uh, scent of these cupcake bath bombs are a blend um, that I have come up with which 
I have sold quite a few. It was not on my website because it was a custom order, but because the response was so overwhelming that I decided to actually have it available on the site. And the smell is amazing. The bath, um, bow bath frosting, it's very bubbly, very like, I want to say foamy. Um, it's just a good bath treat to experience. You know, just something to treat yourself or something to, you know, buy for your family member. You know, it's just, it's just an all around good thing to have. Um, I have my temperature set on six, so you know you don't need to leave these on the um, the sealer long. And I don't know, just a couple of seconds, I would say, and then I usually just tear it off. Um, the label that I make, it's um, just a wraparound label. It's really simple to, to do in Word. Um, Microsoft Word, that's what I use to do them. Um, and I also, I do my soap labels uh, in Word as well. I, I was using Avery, but I wanted to kind of streamline my look of my product, so I figured I'd go ahead and save a little money without having to buy so many different um, labels. So if you're looking for a more um, inexpensive um, thing to do your labels, I'm just checking to make sure that I've sealed every one of these, you guys. Okay, so they are sealed. I'm going to go ahead and take this away because now we're going to go ahead and shrink wrap these bad boys. And I'm only going to do the video on me shrink wrapping these because I still do have to shrink wrap and label my um, and this is what my labels look like they're they're very you know very simple but it has you know the ingredients information here and it has how to use here so the customers know exactly how to use the product which is very important because I you know some customers they just they don't know what a bath bomb is and you need to tell them exactly how to use it. So, and this is my little shrink gun. I've had this bad boy since I've started, and it's just a Wagner. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on, and it, it's not very loud, which is good, but it does take a little time to um, heat up. And you want to be careful with this shrink gun because it does heat, put out a lot of heat, and you can burn yourself. How do I know? Because I've done it. When I was first starting out and using it, I really didn't know how to gauge um, how much heat that I needed to apply to it. So, I burnt myself. And it is not a good thing. All right. So I'm just going to keep going back and forth with this. Um, Just shrinking, shrinking as I go. Until I like the final product, I kind of tuck the ends. And you want to be careful because you don't want to puncture it. And that's one. You can still smell it. You smell the key lime really, really strong through it. Um, which I like. And who knew that both would pair very well together? Um, it smells just like a key lime pie with hints of um, brown sugar. 
in it. And I wish I could actually have a pie like that because that would be awesome. Um, I'm laying mine down because the label itself is a little bigger than what I'd like for it to be. Well, it's not just that. It's the the uh, actual cupcake cups. Um, they have kind of like a slant to them. And when you have a wraparound label, you got to kind of, I don't know, maneuver it to where it will fit and it doesn't bulk out too much. And there you have it. I'm not going to go ahead and just take you guys with me for the whole trip, but I just wanted to kind of show you how I label my bath bomb cupcakes and I